Hello everyone. Wanted to let you know that the person commentating in the background is Torchmeister. He is first of all my forever teammate and a daily streamer for For Honor. If you do like what you're seeing here and want to maybe participate in his Colosseum as well, he hosts one every Friday and sometimes throws some money in like he did this time. His stream is in the description below. Alright, enjoy the match. Nice parry on the light. Semix gets that 27. Brings Hal Turtles back pretty even. Good block on the light. Nine damage again for the lights. Nice. Good reaction to the bash. Nice. Delayed bash catches it. Oh, Bulwark Slash goes through as well. Setmix takes a healthy crushing counter. Oh, Unblockable gets let rip. And Barra takes the health lead here. Crushing counter. Chain bash. And now Barra, one light or bash away from death. Setmix throws out the flip on prediction. And Barra fades with the faint into heavy. And takes the first round down to his final 5 HP. This is a classic matchup. Exactly. Where's the hype train at, boys? You're not going to see a high level matchup like this anywhere else. This is one of the highest level. Well, this is literally the highest level you could possibly get in the game. One of the very best EU players versus another one of the very best EU players. Let's fucking go, dude. Slight health lead early for the Berserker. High Prama trade with the light into heavy. Reaction to the bash as well. Prediction dodge doesn't get punished. Nice. Another high Prama trade. Crushing counter though. Deflect on the undodgeable. Interrupts the zone. <clears throat> Reacts to the bash. Barra goes up 2-0. to zero. Come on, boys. Let's get that hype train started. There's not going to be a more hype moment than this today. If you want to contribute to the hype chain, all you need to do is either sub to the channel, gift a sub, or cheer a hundred or more bits. And if we have three unique people do this within five minutes, we'll get a hype train started. Takes health lead. Buffer bash connects. Septons retakes the health lead. Crush and counter on the heavy into another chain bash. Looking in a very strong position early. Oh, Prediction Dodge doesn't land. Buffer Bash does connect. Tylenol starting us off. We just need two more people to contribute now. Like I said, either sub yourself, gifted sub to someone else, or 100 or more bits. Oh, bashes him out of the attempted heavy. Good read from Mr. Mix. Light connects. Undodgeable gets parried. Oh, nice parry on the chain light and set mix. Gets his first round on the board. If you add swish, I'll give you money. What do you mean if, if I add swish? The fuck? Yo, Saucy coming in with a sub. We only need one more, ladies and gentlemen. One more person to sub or to gift a sub or to cheer a hundred or more bits. And we'll have that hype train going. Which character is favored in this matchup? Uh, BP's favored. If you can react to Bash, it's a lot more even. And there we go! Disgruntled Noob coming in with our 100 bits. We got a hype train going, baby! Oh, the deflect on the undodgeable. Oh, but the zone beats out the attempted heavy after the unblockable. And there we go. Bashes him out of the heavy startup. It's now 2-2. Two to two. Come on, ladies and gentlemen. Like I said, we have a $25 prize pool today. But if we hit level 5 100%, I will double what's ever in the prize pool. So if we can hit that level 5 100% right now, I'll add another 25 in. And then if we add that gifted sub goal, I'll also double it again so we can make it $100. If you want to contribute to the hype train, all you have to do is sub, gift a sub, or cheer 100 or more bits as well. Same rules as starting it. Barra with a huge health lead at the moment. Alright, he's playing the distance game right now. Zone option select, tries to prediction parry. But he does catch the bash. Low on stamina. Oh, and the unblockable comes out. Barra retakes the health lead, 3-2. to two. Mr. Talonol comes in with a TL1 a sub to Mr. Fatal Fate. 911 gifted subs. Thank you to you. And the last person to sub. Actually, the last two people to sub. I really do appreciate it. And here's to another month of domination, annihilation, and evisceration. We're up to 24% with 3 minutes 30 seconds remaining. Come on, we've got we've got to hit that 100% within 5 minute windows. Otherwise, the hype train will end and we won't be able to 
Start another one up, so let's go, ladies and gentlemen. Set mix with the slight health lead. Early bashes him out of the heavy, further increase in the health lead. And again. Another gifted sub coming out from Mr. Talon. All the dodge does get baited. Gets punished with the GB. Rolls away from the bulwark slash, avoiding further damage. Bash connects. But thank you very much for that gifted sub to Mr. Tetsuo. Here's to another month of domination, annihilation, and evisceration. We're up to 34%. We need another seven subs. Just seven subs to hit that 100% of level one, ladies and gentlemen. Nice. Avoids the chain bash. Doesn't get the punish, though, unfortunately. And Barra goes down with the health disadvantage. Three apiece. Disgruntled dude coming in with another 100 bits. 100 bits is 2% in level 1, ladies and gentlemen. <clears throat> so 1,000 would be 20. Oh, good flip on the chain light. Good reaction to the bash. Nice parry on the chain light. Oh, the prediction dodge gets caught. Nice parry on the heavy. Semix does not bite on the parry. And look at that huge damage. Se Semix had such a massive health lead. But then Barra lands so much damage. Oh, he lets rip with the unblockable. He manages to bring it back. Talano coming in with a gifted sub to Razor. Come on, ladies and gentlemen, we only need 54% to hit that level 1, 100%. We only have a minute and a half remaining. Get those gifted subs in. Sub to the channel. 100 or more bits cheered. Let's push that 100% and keep this going. Like I said, can you still subscribe with Prime? I think that counts. I'm not 100% sure, but I think so. If we get that 5, 100%, I will double the prize pool. Nice interrupt on the bulwark slash. Flips the unblockable. Nice reaction to the bash. Catches the dodge forward with the guard break. Set mix mixing up his option selects while making sure not to use too many in a short space of time. Oh, prediction dodge not punish. Come on, ladies and gentlemen, there's only 30 seconds remaining and we need another six subs. Or oh, 5,000 bits. We're running out of time, ladies and gentlemen. Barrett takes it. Goes up 5 to 3. He's halfway to the total already. Barrett doesn't have a good reaction time. I mean, he's only got 180 MS. We're running out of time, ladies and gentlemen. We only have 15 seconds remaining. Are there any giant cojones? Individuals overflowing with virtual testosterone going to complete the goal before the end of the time? Or are we going to go down at level 1, 46%? <sighs> Good punish on the chain bash. Oh, baits out the side dodge light. GB option select. Both people on equal health. And there we go. Hype train goes down. Thank you very much to everyone that contributed for that hype train. I really do appreciate all the support. you got no idea how much it means to me. But let's continue on with the match, ladies and gentlemen. Nice. Baits out the bash. Doesn't get a punish, unfortunately. Light does land. Five seconds remaining. Barrel with the health lead. Oh, rolls away from the bulwark slash, and there we go. Barra playing to that timer perfectly. Goes up six to three. Add another one dollar to the prize pool? No, sorry, dude. Absolutely not. <laughs> but come on, we're getting closer and closer to that sub goal, ladies and gentlemen. We're almost 50% of the way there. Oh. Oh, Semix actually goes for the parry. I'm surprised he didn't go for the flip. Let's the bulwark slash rip. Just get the punish on the bash. And again. And punishes again. And lets the unblockable rip. Barra is on fire today, ladies and gentlemen. Bates out the flip, gets a GB. Yeah. 
Unblockable gets let rip. Oh, almost reacted just a little bit too slow, but huge health lead with 25 seconds remaining. Reacts to the bash again. Nicely done. Flips the unblockable. Good read by Setmix. Oh, he trades with the light. I'm not sure if Setmix went for the flip there or not. But very impressive. Yo, Bodrak coming in with the 45 pounds, 63 donation. Another 45 pounds, 76. Wait, how much is that? Is that $100? How much did you donate in dollars, Bodrak? I can't, I can't do the conversion at the moment because obviously my donations are done in pounds. But just so you know, ladies and gentlemen, the prize pool has been increased. And we're over 100 now. We're over $100, I'm pretty sure. Which means that we will definitely be getting a final game today between whoever the reigning champion is and the best performing duelist. Or second best if the, the current champion happens to be the best performer. And the split between first and second place will be 75% goes to first place, 25% goes to second place. It's $125, so that's $150. Isn't the reigning champion rival? No. The, the, champ, the champion doesn't carry over week to week. The champion is whoever is currently... With, who, who currently won the last game of the Coliseum. Chorus, Good read on the flip by Mr. Setmix. Nice. Another good read. Setmix's read's been on point this round. Catches the roll as well. Nice. Good reaction to the light. A couple of good reactions there from Setmix. Defense looking more solid in this round. And let's have work slash rip. Good reads. A very good round coming out from Mr. Setmix. Brings it back 8-5. to five. Slight health lead for Barra early. Gets a punish off on the bash. Punishes the zone option select as well. As you can see, Mixter really mixing up those option selects. Wow, goes for the zone, goes for the dodge, goes for the raw heavy parry. Keeps you on your toes, makes it hard to predict what he's going to go for. And there you go, doesn't parry that time around. Four different unblockables, four different reactions to them. Nice, connects the bash all, but puts himself out of stamina. That's a really bad thing to do. Oh, the parry into the unblockable. And Barra, he's got like a three-bar health lead with five seconds remaining. I don't think Setmix is going to come back from this. And Barra comes in with the five-match points. Woo! Who's going to take it, ladies and gentlemen? Oh, Setmix gets the out of stamina punish. Light into undodgeable heavy. Catches another bash. He's starting to come back into the round. Barry gets the punish that time around though. Oh, but the flip. Oh, and another flip. Two good reads from Setmix in a row. And he's keeping his hopes alive.
Oh, nice. Trades into the high prama and with the flip. Another high prama trade. Favorable trade for Mr. Setmix, though. <clears throat> Baits out the flip. No punish, though. That flip doesn't get punished an awful lot, so going for that flip isn't always the worst idea. Deflex the undodgeable. Wall splat top heavy. Now Setmix. Less than a bar remaining. He needs to hang on here. He needs to keep solid defense. Catches the dodge. Oh no, but he bullocks less. He puts himself out of stamina. And Barra takes it. 10-6 in the Berserker Black Prior matchup. 